Time now for the PHL, the news report on this Monday afternoon, November 30th, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Williams. I do news on this Monday afternoon, the top three at 12 o'clock. Here is... COP21 climate change summit has never had the stakes been so high. In Chicago, the University of Chicago announced Sunday that all classes delivery activities planned for Monday and in the time for campus will be canceled after FBI counterterrorism officials informed the University of a gun violence threat to the campus. Baltimore, the trial for the first of the six police officers charged in the death of Freddie Gary is due to begin Monday in Baltimore. On Friday, a man named Robert Deere shot several people in Cairo, planned permanent abortion facility in Cairo Springs as tragically three were killed, including an incredibly courageous and heroic pro-life Christian police officer. In Benguai, Central African Republic, the Pope Emil rolled into the center of the country's civil war on Monday across the dangerous border between Christian and Muslim neighbors while Pope Francis waved and smiled at a rowing crowd. Chicago, the Chicago police officer charged with a first degree murder for a fatally shooting a 17 year old at Black Pond McDonald's 16 times returned to court on Monday. Brussels, Turkey's prime minister dismissed on Monday and any suggestion in Ankara should apologize for the of Russian war planned in its airspace last week after winning strong NATO support for the front to defend itself. The enduring suspicion among Shadow Cabinet members is that Joe and Remy Corbyn has tried with some success had it both ways. Jerusalem, Israeli threatened on Monday to review the cooperation of European Union projects that benefit Palestinian and the West Bank side of the block labeling exports from Jewish settlements in Israeli occupied territory. Brussels, Turkey Prime Minister helps the stem the of migrants in Europe for returning cash visas and renewed talks and joined the EU in the deal struck on Sunday that the Turkish Prime Minister called a new beginning for the uneasy neighbors. Yusuf Omar has been accused of having dragged a relative out of school because she wasn't wearing a high job in the University of Missouri. A jury in federal corruption trial, New York Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver asked the judge Monday that he could quit the lawyer should the an unspecified conflict of interest for the second time in a week at jury that sought to get off the panel. More than two dozen protesters attended the scheduled appearance of a retired Parliament police officer known as the Dancer Cop, but the ex officer himself did not show. Michigan has now the lowest average gas price in the country. Washington, the Federal Reserve Board on Monday, a proposal to a permanent emergency lending powers act, change in demand by Congress after the central bank's got of decision on 8 AIG. Contract signings that purchased previously owned U.S. homes rose less than forecast in October after the cutting into the part two months shown in residential real estate is going and heading into the quieter selling season. Tribune published a company said in a statement on Monday that not in talks of the sale, the company denied reports that service in recent days. Some 150 world leaders, including President Barack Obama, joined UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon on Monday in the kidding off two weeks of high stakes coming to talks near Paris. For the first time, scientists have caught a glimpse of a black hole ejecting hot fire of a matter after the bone that started the size of a sun. On Tuesday, Japan's whaling fleet will set out a three month long Hunt for Mickey Whales as the Japanese government announced that the sun will only kill 333 whales, but about a third of the average yearly all before the country's year long. Researchers have recently discovered that the dinosaurs have an innovative nest in sound that may have led to the evolution of success in the modern birds. If you are ever grabbed a sugar free drink for your kids instead of just because you think it's safe for the darling brain rights, you might want to rethink your decision. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration said on Monday that the report that the drug be sold by Bristol Myers Group Company is a treatment of a form of blood cancer. British lawmakers urged the government on a Monday to introduce tough measures including tax on sugary drinks and controls on price for most but unhealthy food and drinks to try to tackle childhood obesity. A selling onion blend including a rotisserie chicken said led from Costco to the public culprit for and I'm going to eat quite African has been recalled. Peter Tell News on 1204, time for a stock bar report. Here to now, here is down 62.8, you put close to 17,735, put 66. SP5 down 7.14 points at 2,082, put 97, and NASDAQ down 23.47 points at 5,104, European market sex, 1,382.23, up 8.47 points. FTSE, 6,356, put 09, down 19.06 points. CC, 40.9, 57, put 60, up 27.46 points. Asia markets here, Nikkei 97.47.47, done 136.47 points, Shanghai 34.45.68, up 9.37 points, and HSI 21.996.42, done 71.90 points. Oil markets, 42.33 cents at 62 cents, Brent 45.30, up 44 cents, and Natural Gas 2.236, up 2,400 points. Gold markets, 1,063.20, up 7, 
Silver, 4.09, up 4, 7,000 a point. And copper, 2.065, up 7, 5,000 a point. And the bond, U.S. 10 units, 2.2183%, down 7,000 a point. U.S. German 10 units, 0.4768%, up 1,000 a point. And Japanese 10 units, 0.305%, unchanged. FX bond, European U.S. dollar, 1.0565, down 25,000 a point. U.S. dollar, Germany ZM, 123.22, up 40 cents. And Great Britain bond, U.S. dollar, 1.5042, up 7,000 a point. All right, looking at the commodities here. Wait, 476 and a quarter, down two and three quarters. Soybean, 878 and three quarters, up five and three quarters. Corn, 367 and a half, up two and a quarter. Sugar, 480, down 17 cents. Coffee, 117.60, down three dollars and 40 cents. Cotton, 62 dollars and 10 cents, down 53 cents. Rep rest, drop below five, up 95,000 a point. And cocoa, 3,000, up 45. Live cattle, 131.325, down 30 cents. Lean out, spit able, 40, down 325,000 a point. And FD cattle, 164.775, down one and a quarter here. All right, look at that. New England Instant Alerts here at 1206. There. Oh. Let's move it on to the sport where the Boston Celtics will square up against the Miami Heat game time 7 30 p.m. in Miami. Kobe Brown made it official on Sunday night. This is the BS last NBA season is. As Rob Gronkowski was being carted off the field within the time of the period, a serious knee injury to Trent Denver on Sunday night. Most of the Patriots fans. You know, we're probably saying the same thing, but good news that Rob Gronkowski's knee injury wasn't serious and he's not going to miss any action here as Patriots are still well positioned for a Super Bowl run. Tyson Fury and Wanamir cut to heavyweight boxing reign. And the biggest coach in opening in college football came out with a big seed board on Monday as USC athletic director Pat Aiden and Nancy Clay Helton has signed a multi year digital service of USA Trojans head coach football team. Peter Jell News on 1207 here. Time for a travel report on this Monday afternoon. Beep, beep. Spook, Santa Nine Ways and Bowway to New England here. And we got two accidents here. One accident here is on the Southeast Expressway on the southbound side of Ryan 203, but it's cleared out. Meanwhile, 120 in the southbound side of the Soul doing an exit around the Mass Pack, so expect some delays. 120 in around the Mass Pack in Western Air. Short drive slow from Longfeld Bridge all the way out to Route 93 here. But otherwise, a smooth sailing commute in 293 in the south west bank side of the Little after the ever trip I can bend just an after here. And over in Springfield here, where Interstate 91 on the north bank side here. It is slow in the south bank side from Route 5 to Route 291 in Springfield. Okay, let's take a look at MBTA alerts here at 1208 here. The ferries, they are looking good here. The subway system, it's looking good, except for the map and trolley splits and minor laser to police section here. And on a commuter rail, Soda Line train 912 and 10 40 a.m. in band is operating 10 to 15 minutes beyond scheduled between Route 120 and then substation due to Amtrak traffic here. Peter Channel News on 1208, time for weather report here. Current condition in the North Massachusetts at 12.08 p.m. here on this Monday afternoon at the noontime hour. 41 degrees at the temperature of first class, humidity 47%. Wind speed east at 6 miles an hour, parameter 3.47 inches, dew for about 22 degrees. Visible at 10 miles, and wind chill about 37 degrees. All right, look at that. Current conditions ran in the region here 36 degrees out of Logan and Boston, 35 in Beverly, 38 in Boston, 36 in Lawrence, it's 34 in Fitchburg, 35 in Bedford, it's 31 in Worcester, 34 in Sturbridge, 32 in Milford, 37 in Worcester, no, 37 degrees in Norwich, 47 in Taunton and New Bedford, it's 37 in Plymouth, and Providence Sound, it's 39 in Falmouth, it's 37 in Chatham, it's 40 in Murfreesboro, 30 in Nantucket, it's 40 in Providence, 40 in Wesley, 41 in Lock on, 43 in Montauk, 45 in Nislip, 46 in New York City, pair of 41s in Bridgeport, New Haven, it's 36 in Denver, 34 in Waterbury, 37 in Merton, Connecticut, 35 in Hartford, 33 in Winslock, 32 in Springfield, 29 degrees in Apple 32 in Greenfield, Massachusetts, 31 in North Adams, it's 30 in Pittsfield, 33 in Albany, New York, 32 degrees in Soto Springs, it is 30 degrees in Rutherford, Vermont, 32 in Bainton, 38 in Bradford, Vermont, 29 degrees in Lebanon, New Hampshire, it's 30 degrees in Laconia, Cochran, and Keene, New Hampshire, 29 degrees out in Chapman, Hampshire, 32 in Manchester, and National Hampshire, 34 in Portland, Hampshire, 29 degrees up in Port Main here. Okay, looking at the start map around the country shows a cold front stretching from up the southwestern British Columbia coast, stretching down to Washington, Oregon, and Northern California coastlines here. And a cold front from south central California stretching down for the seven areas of New Mexico, emerging in a pink front from 
East New Mexico, then after the Texas panel with a parallel low pressure from Texas panel and then for New Mexico. And a station front from Texas stretching the northeast of Mexico around the Gulf of Mexico, stretching the name for the Southeastern States and down for Carolina is that to say here. And we had a front line from South Central Portion of Alberta down for Montana, another front line down for Colorado, another front line from South Central Coast stretching in the Central Plain States, and another front line from West Central Pennsylvania stretching in the, the Eastern Ohio down for Kentucky here. And two ridges of high pressure, one from the inland Pacific the Northwest, and another one. From the Northern Great Lakes, stretching up in upstate New York, Northern New England, and Southern Quebec here. Oh, we got a warm front down from Northern portion of Quebec here. 39 degrees on temperature right now in Detroit, 41 in Pittsburgh, 39 in Washington, D.C., 66 in Atlanta, Georgia, it's 75 in Miami, Florida, it's 59 in Brownsville, Texas, 45 in Dallas, Texas, it is 37 in Kansas City, 40 in Chicago, 31 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 32 in Omaha, Nebraska, 21 in Denver, 23 in Salt Lake City, 37 in Las Vegas, 44 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 44 in Phoenix, Arizona, 31 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 15 in Great Falls, Montana, 26 in Seattle, 43 in San Francisco, and 52 in Los Angeles. There. Okay, look at the radar situation around the country, around the region. And it shows some spotty rain shots off the southeastern corner of Long Island here, and zoom you out, and it shows a line of rain shots from Virginia, stretching in the western North Carolina, stretching the name for Eastern Tennessee down to Northern Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and stretching down for Southeast Missouri, Dan for Arkansas, Dan for Western Louisiana, and some spotty rain showers around Missouri, stretching out Iowa, down for Northern Illinois, and some spotty rain sleeted snow from the southwestern and northeastern portion of Wisconsin here, and some spotty snow shots from the northwestern portion of Wisconsin around the Twin Cities, and stretching down for southwestern Minnesota, western Iowa, from North Dakota, down for Nebraska, and not for northeastern Colorado, down for west central portions of Kansas here, and some spotty rain showers around the San Francisco Bay Air, stretching up northern California from some rain sleeted snow showers in the northwestern portion of California, and some Spotty snow and sleet around west central portion of Oregon, around Salem, and some rain showers off the western Washington and northwestern Oregon coast here, and some spotty rain showers in the southeastern portions of Alaska here. Looking at the satellite, look, shows some clouds from the Midland states stretching down mid south region and down for Louisiana, stretching down for Texas, down for Mexico, and other line clouds from the Great Lakes stretching in northern and central plain states and stretching around Minnesota, Washington, from Minnesota, Wyoming, down. For Colorado, from Montana, Wyoming, down for Utah, and Colorado, and northern portion of New Mexico here. All right, let's take a look at the water temperature 49 degrees here, and for the forecast of the touch near, high pressure over eastern New England this afternoon to move offshore tonight and early Tuesday. It's coastal low pressure passing on Cape Cod and the storm coming out of the western United States will bring periods of rain to New England later today and on Wednesday as to be a low risk of freezing rain in the onset in northwest Massachusetts as high pressure then brings back sea level weather front the weekend here. New term months at 6 p.m. this evening, 10 a.m. update, 8.50 millibars. Temperatures are forecasted to continue to warm late this morning and this afternoon, which should bring a lingering ocean effect. Sprinkles are further in as radar already confirms this trend as a mix of clouds and sun is forecast for this afternoon as overcast cutting us in the Connecticut River out west. Living in northward, which may lead to an increase in sunshine this afternoon there was. Skies were mostly south skies and run down and interior portions of eastern Massachusetts and Cape Ann where this trend should continue as the ocean effect cloudiness this will likely continue along the southeast mass coast this afternoon as both changes the temperature forecast just a tad cold to start in the Connecticut Valley due to cloud cover here. Alright, 7 day forecast goes like this. For today, Prince of Scott about 40 degrees, North Prince about 3 to 5 miles to the northeast. Here, today, forecast goes about 26 degrees, calm wind. For Tuesday, rain like May after 4 p.m., increased cloud about 45 degrees, and calm wind becoming east wind. 5 miles in the afternoon, chest page to 6%, new Prince of Scott less than 7 inch possible. Tuesday, rain like a patch of Otherwise, right, class got about 39 degrees and north pressure about 5 miles gone and not available in the evening, just based on 7 percent. New pressure months between the 10th quarter and inch possible. So Wednesday, rain like me after 10 a.m., petrified before 3 p.m., then a petrified after 4 p.m. Otherwise, right, class got about 52 degrees and south pressure about 3 to 5 miles on the chest page and 7 percent. Wednesday, rain like me before 90, 9 p.m., petrified before midnight. Otherwise, right, most class got about 38 degrees and chest page and 6 percent. Firstly, most class got about 47 degrees. Present, petrified between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Otherwise, right, most coast got about 29 degrees. By Friday, patch bug before 7 a.m. Our sets got about 47 degrees. By the night, most coast got about 30 degrees. By Saturday, sets got about 45 degrees. Saturday night, most coast got about 29 degrees. And by Sunday, most of the sets got about 49 degrees. Here, Peter's what a phrase of the afternoon. Now, chilly afternoon in store. This is Peter with you. have a good afternoon and good positive. See you at 5 o'clock for a 5 o'clock report. Have a good afternoon here.